So to move forward with our design, next we're going to do an open from vault and we're going to click on the bogey redesign shortcut to the project and we're going to see that we can open from vault multiple items at a time. So at this point I want to focus on the assembly, uh, all the top level assemblies and actually all the way down to the base sketch. So if you would open these up and when prompted uh, check out the uh, the DWG, uh, specifically the bogey assembly and the frame.dwg. These are the drawing files of the models that we're going to be modifying. So switch all the way to the base sketch. This is the lowest one on the food chain and we're going to come in and make a modification to the 1400 and change that to a 1500 millimeter and this should address the uh, vehicle track engagement issue. So go in and we're going to update this, save it, and then we're going to step back up through the design. We're going to go to the frame, uh, update it and save it. Next we're going to go to the bogey assembly, the next level up, and update that and save it. And you'll notice it change and stretch just a little bit. And then finally to the uh, vehicle assembly, update that, and all the way up to the overall assembly vehicle on track. So this should be open from earlier, and as you zoom in, you can see that we've actually stretched in. Now we have uh, full and complete engagement to the track. Now the benefit of the, the map data and the data cards is in this case we can take a look at the files that were under the change order. In other words, the files that we should be working with. We can actually see these are the ones that are checked out by Mr. Dave Designer and we can isolate these. But then what? You know, so we can take that and actually get the data cards assigned to them. This allows us to edit uh, and do a mass edit to the user-defined properties and any metadata inside of the system. So for instance, I can fill out the project field here so that maps up with the project that we have uh, that we created inside of Vault and also the user-defined property on the project inside of Vault. So click on apply and edit the project for bogey redesign, for engineer put in your own name. Um, note that we also have multiple tabs within these data cards that uh, can be configured per Vault. Clicking on apply is as good as if we had opened up each one of these individually, gone in, updated the I properties. So this is a nice way to make mass property edits to a number of files all at the same time. And when you're done, you can close this out. And we'll go back into the map data screen, which is still open. And we'll see it um, selects the stuff on the screen. It selects the, the files that are under edit. And let's go and check everything back in. So again, the data mapping, the visual data management is a great way uh, for your customers and for you inside of a demonstration to uh, work with only a few set of files instead of uh, the entire set. One final thing, when you check in, uh, go into settings and send the creation of the DWF to the job server. Remember we created that earlier and this will um, allow the job server, this will allow that task to be taken uh, kind of a, it allows you a quicker check-in of this big assembly and the DWF creation will occur uh, at another time.